What is up, bros? I hope you're all doing great. Now, I was planning on dropping a new Pro League tips today, but in the last couple days, we had some new insane submissions in Discord that I literally just couldn't wait to share with you guys. So we got some new insane tricks coming right up. Got two announcements real quick, with the first being I'm doing another round of the Collector Cup giveaway, and on this one, we're doing the entire Six Siege Cup bundle, where the winner gets the whole collection of cups. Plus, there's a buy one, get one half off sale from the 15th to the 18th, so if you want to enter the giveaway, or check out the officially licensed Ubisoft Siege items, check out the info below. The second announcement is that this coming Sunday, I'm going to be in the Creators Cup at the Majors in North Carolina, which will be pitting three content creator teams versing each other. So there's going to be tons of memes, tons of fun. We're going to be goofing around, having a blast. I'm going to be entry droning godly and hoping for the best. So if you guys do want to watch me get slammed by Shroud, then be sure to tune in on Sunday. I'll leave a link to the official Rainbow Six Siege Twitch below also. Anyways, without any further delays, Let's get right into these epic new tricks from the BraFam. Alright, so the first trick is a whole new idea when it comes to Mira. Trans from my Discord server figured out that you can actually overlap Mira mirrors on the vertical support beams that separate some walls. This one here in the wine cellar of Chalet is the perfect example of this. Now once you have the walls on either side reinforced, you can then place your first mirror just far enough to the right hand side of the left wall in order to take a chip out of the reinforced wall on the right. Now place your second mirror like normal, nice and close to the left one, and when done correctly, you will now have a sliver of the right reinforced wall taken out, which you will now use to shoot through after popping open the left mirror. You can practice your placements of this new mirror trick a few times and once you get it down the attackers looking at this won't even think much of it because the gap is so small and it's in a common mirror spot. The attackers are going to be busy scanning the other areas of the room once they open up the garage and that will give you the perfect opportunities to make it look like you're straight up shooting through the reinforced walls and get called a hacker. Another huge plus to this is the best counter would be Glaz, but almost no one plays him anymore since the latest nerf, so that makes this spot even better. Next up is a trick we're going to use to add onto this already stacked mirror setup to be able to throw C4s at attackers without ever putting yourself at risk. Normally in order to get a C4 towards this garage, you need to expose yourself on the rotate into garage or in connector, which is where attackers crosshairs should be aiming at because that's the typical play. Well, the bra fam is going to just make the C4 appear out of thin air by opening up the floor above the mirror and breaking the corner floor in front of the fireplace. Now, now you can stand on the corner of the rug behind your mirror safely and aim directly south at this horizontal beam going across the ceiling and you'll be able to chuck the C4 up into fireplace and it'll come back down into garage by the snowmobile. Now do keep in mind that this won't take out attackers planting behind the garbage can which is the normal plant spot. This C4 is for attackers that push further in like a Montane or any attacker that's pushing forward trying to protect the planter. Next up, we have the grenade trick counter that I included in a video a few months ago, but since we're going so in depth with this particular site, I had to throw it in for a few seconds as a quick reminder. By being any nade operator, you can actually safely nade any mirror player in this current setup all the way while you're safe outside by standing where I'm at in the corner of the bench and pillar and aiming your crosshairs at the spot that you see me do on the fireplace. Now of course if you're the mirror player you gotta make sure you got an ADS down to keep yourself safe and if you're the attacker send in your twitch drone or thatcher to help take it out for you. Now hopefully these three unexpected tricks stack on and help you out the next time you guys find yourself here on this site.
Next up, we're gonna be moving to Border where we have a crazy trick that you can use in so many different ways depending on your play style. First off, this spot is in the second most common bomb site on Border and if you have a shield or a friend with a shield, just ask them to place it anywhere by this box for you to vault onto. Once you're on the box, you can then vault up again and this is where the options start flying. You can simply place a crazy high up evil eye that can shoot anywhere even over to the corner on the next door site. You can place a Jaeger ADS up here. You can have a friend take the shield down or run on it to take away any evidence of you up here and hide until someone vaults in for the surprise of their life. While you're waiting up here, you can also use it as the most unorthodox anchor angle and shoot through the tops of the walls for the same angles as your evil eye. Plus, you can get a perfect head level height lineup into the bathroom rotation and the lobby doorway. You can even just leave the window up and shoot down through the pixel gap that's above windows to take out anyone that gets too close. Like I could literally do an entire video of all of the different options and show multiple different things you could do with this one spot But I know everybody watching this has the same nutty mentality Plus we have multiple insane tricks still yet to cover so get creative with it Use your imagination and use this one however works best for your playstyle. All right, so we're gonna be calming down a little bit. We're gonna head on over to Clubhouse with a simple trick that you can do to protect the hot tub wall by placing a Kaid electric claw underneath in this exact spot to electrify the walls above and frustrate the attackers. We're gonna be heading down into the bathroom after we reinforce the wall. And once we place it, if there's a Maverick on the other team, he's gonna be so confused and he's gonna be stuck opening up so many different spots looking for the charges to take out. You can also shoot the ceiling in the bathroom if you want to go for some debris coverage and make sure you place the electric claw on the east hand side of the support beam because if you do place it on the other side of the support beam I at least wasn't able to get it to where it would electrify above. All in all super simple spot and really effective. Getting a little bit more creative, we're gonna be heading on over to Villa and using the elevation trick to get into the bar cabinets that are for some reason really crazy deep. So when you crawl in there, you're so far back and adding in how dark it is, it makes for a great hiding spot. The best positioning I found was having your feet in front of you and then leaning left so that your legs don't stick out to the side. If you're defending on a different site, then this makes for a crazy sneaky cab spot that will surprise the crap out of whoever your unlucky victim is. Now next up is yet again another trick that we could literally do an entire video on in itself. But that's not how we roll here. Literally everything we do is worthy of this video title. So getting right into it, we have a whole new concept of how to hide Valkyrie cameras. This one was sent in by the legend Hologram Sam and it is a game changer for Valkyrie. By using your C4 or simply another Valcam, you can then aim your reticle just above and bounce your cameras up to get it to stick on the ceiling of surfaces that otherwise you wouldn't be able to just simply throw it onto. It's pretty much like you're just playing pool with a bouncy ball. You can now place your cameras on the top surface of random items, this is another trick that you can get creative with and next time you find yourself playing Valk, just look around at random items with high traffic areas and see if you can fit a cam underneath of it. It's so simple that when there's enough space, you can simply bounce your cam up on top of the C4 and it'll fly up and stick. If there's not enough room, your camera will stick to the side or you just won't even be able to throw your camera on top of the other gadget. So you'll know right away if it'll work or not for you for where you're at and you won't even be at risk of wasting much time. 
Plus, once you do find your favorite spots, you can land it first try, and it'll literally only take two seconds longer than throwing a regular camera. Anyways, bra fam, that's gonna wrap it up for this video. Wish me luck this weekend. Hopefully, we don't get slammed too hard by Shroud. I already kind of have a hard time playing on Twitch. I'm gonna be super nervous, so please don't roast me too hard if I don't pull out like a million kills. But thank you guys all so much for the support. Check out the links down below. The next video will be out on Sunday after the new season reveal, and I'll have some new season gameplay with the new operator new map everything so super stoked for that hit the like button if you like this video down button if you didn't like it and i'll see you guys all very soon in the next video i love you all peace